Dear friends, with COVID-19, it's no more a status quo and many things will change forever. We are happy that GIS and OWIS were quick to adopt to the new normals. Thanks to the School of the Future initiative by the Global Schools Foundation. This School of the Future initiative was a result of a decade long extensive research done by our R&D teams and our tech teams in collaboration with our world class academic teams. Thanks also to the teachers for having strategies such as fast response and excellent execution of the virtual classrooms. We can proudly say that we have achieved a fair amount of success during these past 50 days of COVID pandemic, giving our students a seamless learning experience. With these, we have managed to calm parents' fears and reassure them that COVID or no COVID, their children will be in the safe hands of GIS or OWIS and our students will be productively learning at all times. Our schools, GIS and OWIS, are now synonymous across Asia or Middle East for the extensive and comprehensive live virtual schooling. Coming to the pandemic, enough has already been said about the COVID-19. But let me share with you something. I have not witnessed the world war, but our seniors tell us that the economic effects that we are going to see during COVID and after post-COVID would be as grim or grimmer than what existed in a world war scenario. Shutdowns were quick and easy to implement, saving thousands of lives everywhere. But businesses, just as in any other part of the world, will take years and years to get back to normal. While some may not see light at the end of the tunnel, we are looking at once in a hundred years crisis, which has the potential to make the global financial crisis of 2008, just like a Mickey Mouse. Just look at the bankruptcies beginning to roll around us. The Virgin Australia, it's just one of the examples. And we will begin to see many hundreds, if not thousands. And the biggest to be hit would be the small and medium enterprises. Governments are bracing themselves for this reality and aligning policies and bringing in new legislation to prevent businesses from going bust or contain and minimize the rising cases of bankruptcies. Trade unions are also being sensitized and the top priority for everyone is now saving jobs and saving jobs. But will this be enough for us to survive? through the COVID-19 pandemic and emerge stronger? The answer doesn't lie in what you do, what technology you use, but equally and squarely lies in how we manage our finances. You ask anyone, be it the IFC World Bank or Ernst Young or Deloitte or PwC or any of the international companies, they will tell you one thing, that GSF has one of the best and most advanced financial management systems and practices and controls that is rarely seen in an educational institution, but may be a common thing for a Fortune 100 company. While our finance teams have done a wonderful job by bringing in transparency and controls to make everything smooth. When it comes to liquidity, even gods cannot help. Financial institutions don't put money in businesses that show signs of distress or start the downward hill. I remember the words of our former president, late Justice Dharmadikari, who always was the biggest champion of our teachers. He always said, teachers are the lifeline and bloodline of not just our organization, but of the students who are our future generations. And for that, as an organization, he said, we should always be ready to swallow every bitter pill to support them at all times and even be willing to make 
personal sacrifices. Our finance teams have prepared the COVID transition framework to deal with this pandemic and to emerge out successfully. Think about this as a bitter pill. This framework comprises of three parts and is customized based on the needs for every campus. They will be sharing more details in the days to come. As a mark of our sincerest support, GSF will be paying me just a dollar a month till we are out of the COVID. We can all help each other and be supportive and we can save every single job for our team members. We wish you, your family members, all the very best and stay healthy. Thank you.